That yeah, would have been cool. Like, the, like there's a weird sex fetish where they already show dicks. Why not have somebody with his huge nutsack just slap somebody or something that's small, you know? Why? Just funny, you know, at the parties, you know, at fraternity goes wild. Somebody gets too drunk, passes out as a tiny person, and the big guy is like, huh, look, and they're teabagging. <laughs> Why? Like, it's not a porno, man. <laughs> Paul, what the <laughs> would have been awesome. Why great tea as a bagging? <laughs> huh? Why? It's a fraternity, man. You just do it, bruh. <laughs> Dude, you 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 can't judge. You automatically high fived me today when I I showed the number <laughs> five and you automatically. Yeah, but I didn't. I, I I. It wasn't because you were tea bagging me or anything. <laughs> it was this is FFPU. Your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to the newest episode of FFP. My name is Paul, and this is the 72nd episode recorded on the 8th of March 2018. And he's back for a third time. It is... My name is Carlos Matos. I'm here to tell you the world is not the same as it was. Everything has changed. Bitconnect! Woo! Excellent impression right at the beginning. <laughs> hey, Ali. Thanks for being back, man. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with the whole Carlos Matos thing because I don't want to be associated with this movie. <laughs> Because no, you you felt betrayed by this movie. That's what happened. I was. It's like this movie totally suckered you in, like me, and then just at the end kept wailing on you. Like, here, this is all the trust. This is how much of a shit I give about all the trust you gave me so far. I'm gonna dump it into a big, big ass hole and keep it there. No zing. It's not that. It's a okay. So what did we watch? What what did we watch? We watched a once again we watched a, we watched a movie of epic uh, <laughs> e epic twist proportions. epic twist proportions. Yeah, it started out amazing, just like the last movie, and mm. about halfway through, it was good. It was a solid solid good movie. This yeah. great setup. Yeah, and uh, halfway through, they decided to you know. <laughs> it just they ran out of ideas. Yeah, I don't know. They they took a bunch of other scripts that were incomplete and yeah. put them together <laughs> hey after a storyline laying around from a c-list movie how about we work this into this one and also it's like and also let's waste all of our talent for like two scenes each instead of hiring one person to <laughs> to act through this whole movie like they gotta okay so we watched the immediate classic a little gem uh, so to speak the 2017 movie Downsizing, starring Matt, Matt Damon, Damon. <laughs> in his most Matt Damon. <laughs> okay, so he he's played the rela uh, relatable hero before, but now he's on a, at a point where he's everyday man, ultra white version. He right? was like he he was like uh, middle of the road. Uh, you know, down no personality, down on his luck, no personality, nothing special about him, uh, guy. And he played it, he played it really well until he disappeared from the movie halfway through. <laughs> he was just like a, pr he was kind of like a prop yeah. in the second half of the movie. He was yeah. just standing there. Yeah, and getting hand handed over from one person to the next exactly. one. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I feel that happened to a lot of characters uh, the throughout the movie. They Kristen would be Wiig got got rid of in what minute 35 or something it's like the guy who the producer or the director whatever he's like oh look at all this money i've got yeah. i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then halfway through they ran out of money and he's like oh shit no more like actual nice shots with extras that yeah. were you know professional extras uh really playing the part it just became all these close shots <laughs> of people talking <laughs> the vietnamese uh woman crying because that doesn't cost extra i guess you know <laughs> just have her cry yeah. i think if you hire her to cry once you can let her cry three times and that will pay by itself basically oh yeah no it was casting was so weird <laughs> 
<laughs> sometimes. It's, it was so weird. And uh, Christoph Waltz plays a Serbian dude. The one nationality he can't portray as a white guy. Like he he played. He can play a French person. He can play an Italian person. He can play an Austrian, a German, a Swiss. But let's be honest. I don't think even he knew he was supposed to be Serbian because when he <laughs> when he first came, yes. he kind of was French, yes. and then he kind of got became Italian, and, and then we he went, thought his name was Dijon for the first. Yeah. First, he was like kind of like an urban black guy from the U.S. <laughs> yeah, Dijon. Yeah, and then he changed to Dishu. Or whatever do the some. Serbian do, do some. some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and his random, his random creepy C list friend, <laughs> who played. Do you remember? Do you yes. remember Blade? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, yes. he was one of the vampires. He, he was like one of the old school vampires. <laughs> yes. Like, Frost, you have lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> same character. Yeah, same character. <laughs> this plays uh, in the Blade universe. It is. It, it's a continuation of. That vampire was like, oh, fuck the real, I'm going Yeah, I'm downsizing. downsizing. You know, if I get a blood bag of real blood, I have blood for life, you know? Exactly. <laughs> One blood bag sorted. Yeah, exactly. Oh that's God. that's how you solve the real Probably crisis. also the, the fake son was not strong enough to kill him. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's why a, he was yeah. a rat. Yeah, he's, yeah, he can be... No, he didn't go into the... Wo- okay, oh. all right. So... We're not going to plot. We're not going to do cinematography and sound because Although we are, are downsizing. We're downsizing this yes. episode. Fuck this. Let's just ramble a little bit because this. So, what what got me most was that it was such a brilliant idea. Like the elevator pitch must have been perfect for this. Like everybody gets small. And that solves all humanity's problem. Or they While think, we're yeah. doing uh, like a, a criticism of the modern world through the lens of everything being small. Like everybody has crazy lavish places that can afford them because they're... So that, yeah, and it, 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 it works. And then they got, just get distracted by stupid shit. Like they, they had one solid idea and they should have stuck to this. Like the... The, the, the discrepancy between people who had money and could go downsizing and those people who lost their money after they went and, downsizing. And even he, he, yeah. even he had a pretty nice apartment, which I imagine was paid off. Yeah. And uh, so he was, let's say he went from like low middle class to middle class. Yeah. But even so, he wasn't all that, all the, all the time, you know, all I think the thing he did. Is, I think it's just because he saw his friends living in all those lavish places. Exactly. So there was that's always, made him bitter. Exactly. So there was always something uh, higher to higher aspire. To, exactly. You, higher to aspire. Exactly. Exactly. That could be a slogan in this but, fucking movie. Grid. But then they fucking, uh, then they fucking like ditched that idea and, and went, and then went with the party idea, which was great. The party idea was great. Like then, having drugs. Then that, he was like, okay, I'm going to open my world up. Then yeah. he meets this uh, Vietnamese, which was great because that was planted Dude, he before. he dated a girl before. F- did you forget her? He was, oh, yeah. She was in there for ha- like hot two minutes. <laughs> 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 Ali dies. Right. Right. Anyways. This is how, the most dangerous looking? podcast. Are we looking good? Yeah, we're okay. looking. Oh, you look. You look amazing compared to thank me. You, so. Thank you. Anyway, so. So, um, uh, so, yeah. So. He, I think th- that was the point was, you know, that there's uh, there's no quick fix for, yeah. you know, a happy life and things like that. And he was never taking risks. So the one time he takes a risk yeah. was when he goes to this party and then he meets this Vietnamese girl who's a humanitarian. She's, you know, also her na- his neighbor is Christoph Waltz. Yes, exactly. They tease it? him in the in the in the in the trailer, but he shows up in what minute uh, in, in, in the f- not even in the first hour. Well, or in the first it, hour, maybe it's, it's the forty-fifth minute, yeah. which is where you're like, okay, the movie is half done. Yeah, it's actually not half done. <laughs> no, it is it's like a long it's, movie. it's like one quarter done <laughs> at that point. So I was like, okay, well, the second half is him and Christoph Waltz yeah. going on wacky adventures, which was half true. 
but yeah. they had abandoned that as well. Yeah. <laughs> and then Christoph Waltz was also just like kind of hanging out in the background. Like he has one <laughs> he epic looks, scene. He looks, he looks so happy to be here. Like he sees the train wreck that this movie has become. And he's just like, fuck it. I'm going to do the weirdest shit character that I can do. And he really hams it I up. Think, I he's think he's amazing yeah, in yeah. this movie. And if I there's th- one redeeming quality next to the level of white brightness and let me emphasize that white brightness of Matt Damon. Like I haven't seen a whiter person yet. Matt Damon is so white, it's it's insane. Like he like take all the men from all the uh, cleaning commercials that can't clean shit, put them together and they won't amount to the whiteness that Matt Damon is in this movie. He's a tra- nearly trained doctor but still an occupational therapist, which is a three-year college degree in the U.S. Like, you have to go to college for that. You have to train for that. That's a, that's a, that's a good job. My mom does it. It's, you, you have to be quite intelligent to do that properly. And he fucks up that fucking leg, which is one of the things occupational therapists do. Like, what the fuck is happening? He was... Uh, he- this, he's like... The, and Christoph Waltz is just insane. The whole time through, he's old, old daddy, daddy party guying it up at the beginning, like, and then it turns out he's a smuggler, a Serbian smuggler, <laughs> who turns cohibas into smaller cohibas yeah, to sell. Yeah, it was uh, the whole thing was. <laughs> It was weird, and then and I mean, oh, this movie. The the first half was also quite humorous. They they put a lot of comedy in it, and then mm-hmm. the second half, they it got super serious. Like the world's the world ends. Yeah, the and world then, is and, gonna end. And then they pull us back by no, in a few hundred years. Yeah, and then it's like <laughs> oh, and then the one guy who's super depressed about it because yeah. he's like oh, I created this downsizing and it didn't help because the world is ending. Like in the next scene, he's super happy because. They go they're, down. They're they're they've built these uh, bunker colonies underground. Yeah. Uh, which will which will keep the humanity alive. And then it's like, well, why the fuck was this guy so sad on his on his boat also just a have, scene ago? Also, they have hun- They said they have hundreds of years left. Build a hundred of those colonies. Spread them out. Yeah. Yeah. They are not and, that expensive and then they to had, make. Apparently, okay. The worst part. The because worst. Norway could afford it. The the worst part about this. Uh, and Norway about, is rich. Don't don't get me wrong. Norway is rich, but it's not like U.S. economy rich. They can't afford to like if they can afford to build one. Yeah, but one, the point, the idea was yeah. that the idea was that everything that they build is a fraction of the cost. So yeah. like, so if they have like a person who in real life has a million dollars, they can build a bunker yeah. that's the size of you know. Yeah. So that's the idea, I think. So. Yeah. So why not do it for the rest of the population? Right. Right. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> It, those were things that I guess were plot holes and stuff, and then oh, so many plot holes and so many unrealized ideas too. Yeah, like they had one of the the things that really got me was at the beginning where they said they teased the fish and the crabs, and never went with the idea that yeah. maybe something weird happens when the fish get shrunken down. Maybe they get big, you know? Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, but then it would have turned into a monster movie. Yeah. Maybe so the what? sequel. <laughs> Downsizing too, even smaller. <laughs> <laughs> we realized that going five inches is not small enough. Let's go a nanometer yeah. or something, and then they have to s- fight bacteria cells. <laughs> like the idea of sickness m- making huge impact on that small body w- was pretty neat, I thought. Yeah, it was. It was. It was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And then, oh shit, a tick must kill you. If a tick, like a normal sized tick, gets onto you, latches onto you, just like all your blood, yeah, gone. Yeah, but <laughs> there's so I, much stuff. I mean, I think uh, then they tease the the zero percent crime rate. I'm like, ah, they're faking those numbers. It's gonna, it's gonna be, gonna be a murder, murder mystery. Murder. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> something like that. Like Kristen Wiig gets crazy and Matt Damon has to stop her or something. Yeah, it was it, it was weird. And then uh, and then I mean that that scene where he. He's uh he's about to go into the bunker, but then someone tells him that it's an eleven hour walk, <laughs> and then he's like, f- and then he like hesitates and uphill, he's like, uphill, uphill, yeah, and that's and he, that's what an American can't do, exactly. uphill walking. And then he's like, well, fuck that, and he goes back to his Vietnamese girlfriend, which also made no sense. Yeah, but, they shoved know. her in there quite awkwardly. 
I thought no I thought it was building. I thought the romance was fine. Really? I thought it was all right. Yeah. I thought that everything that happened after it, vis-a-vis <laughs> their relationship, was, yeah. was weird. Yeah, she yeah. should have gone with him in the bunker. She should have gone with him, or he should have never gone in the first place. Yes. It Don't do that weird pullout twist because, because yeah. of an eleven-hour walk. Because of an eleven-hour walk, <laughs> it wasn't even because like he's he just hesitated because yeah. he was like. Eleven hours or banging also, a girl. Also, he still had those two rings. Yeah, where were they actually? Yeah, maybe he should have div- sold those. Maybe in the divorce settlement. They what did he lose? In what shit lawyer did? They didn't have kids. He yeah, did, but she abandoned him, not vice versa. Yeah, but there's there's fucking video evidence of her confessing that she wants to downside. There has to be a precedent. I mean, set I, already I, I at think this point. I think. He's such <laughs> a he's been such a, a loser. Battle for an hour. <laughs> but he's such a he's such a loser that oh, yeah. like it no, makes no. sense the, that he he loses so much and gets lucky in somehow. Yeah. Okay guys, if you watch this movie, yeah. watch the first half. Yes. And then turn it off. Yes. Turn it off at the point where they start banging and just pretend that's the end of the movie. Yes. Yes. Because you'll know also, because there's only also, one sex. Scene. Also, don't watch the trailer because the trailer is misleading as fuck. But that's a good thing. Somehow, a good yeah, it's it's good in some ways, and then it's bad in the way that they had scenes in the trailer that weren't in the movie, like the party with the vodka. I would have s- loved to see that. Yeah, but I mean, even as a one shot. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah, keep it in the movie. That's fun. Why? Why do you? They had a lot of useless shit. That I think they, they had a two and a half hour movie at their hands, and they were like, uh, "We have to cut out all the comedy in the last fifteen minutes, otherwise it's way too long." My favorite scene was that last scene. Oh, where you want to go to best moment because we keep. We okay, yeah, me. let's just go to the best that. moment. So the the best moment, and I mean this ironically, uh, is the moment when <laughs> they're watching the sunrise sunset for uh-huh. the last time, and it's this ridiculously dr- over dramatic so scene. So long, where, so long. Where there's a group of people looking at the sun. Yeah, you don't know any of these people. And they zoom in on every single person, or every every yeah. person's face. And my favorite part was that they had this fat guy with a fucking neck beard, yeah. who clearly is like, <laughs> he, you know, his Always main a hobby, dweller. main ho- hobby, hentai, Warhammer. second main, you know, wow, Warhammer hentai, yeah. and he, Warhammer and he's hentai, yeah, and he's sitting he's there, very specific about he, his hentai, and he's sitting there, and they zoom in on him. And a tear comes down this guy's face, and I'm just like, this is like the most unsympathetic person. Why do you keep them? Why do I? Why do I care that fat think- guy, fat guy who never sees the sunset, anyways, why is should, crying about the why sunset? Why should he go into the bunker? You know, what's his contribution? It's like it, it's like his. Is uh, he a famous poet or musician or something? Right. Do they just keep a huge server down there with he, all all the, the internet? He, yeah. Which he's like, he's like the uh, sys admin. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have, dude, even in a Part-time, post-ap- part-time dude, professional raider. A, that would be so funny. Like they build a post-apocalyptic bunker and then they forgot to bring the IT guy. And then just somebody brought a, a, a thumb, drive, thumb drive with illegal porn and it had a virus and the virus spreads. And that's why the colony goes down. <laughs> Well, that's why they invited that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. we don't like him. He's smelly. But uh, it, uh, he cries too much when he sees the sun for some weird reason. Uh, okay, let's let's bring him down. He, he's good with Windows Windows 7. <laughs> <laughs> Windows 7. <laughs> yeah. He's what was okay it, what with was Windows your best, 10. What was your best moment? Uh, uh, it's hard to say. I mean... I really love the dick reveal scene where they just showed us 30 random dicks. That was awesome. That was including dope. Including the tip of Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt, very tiny Matt Damon got his very tiny dick in the screen, on screen. It's, it's better than The Martian in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Then, then he did an Owen Wilson. Wow! <laughs> oh wow! Gee! Yeah! Gee golly! Oh wow! <laughs> yeah! Can you be more white? No, seriously. I think that's what what he asked himself while staring at the mirror, preparing for this role. Can you be more white? No, I'm asking He's, you. Yeah. Can you be more white? <laughs> it was so funny because when 
when he got rejected by his girlfriend, you know, the one before he went to the party. You mean it was like Blandy McBlandy Blandy McBlandy st- still it was, was apparently It was not so happy funny because you could the way he was acting, it was like it was like he was foreshadowing that he was gonna get rejected. It was just yeah. the most it was like the most unappealing like unsexiest unconfident kids. unsexiest thing that yeah. like there's just the way he was the whole evening that whole date that's neil amazing. patrick harris is in there for a amazing. hot second amazing yeah always always great to see him he really he got sells. up before it turned to shit yeah he did a really good part of the movie yeah. really entertaining but for like a minute then <laughs> we have sizeism as a thing that people, was cool. People, then they dropped it. Then yeah, they dropped it. Yeah, that would have been cool. A terrorist attacking the town, like shooting his normal size okay, gun it, at Paul, the village. It's not, a, it's not an action movie. You it have to stop, have you have been, to, you have to stop with been. the fish, the crazy big fish, this, this the is ticks, <laughs> the vampire ticks coming in. It's not an action movie. It's a comedy. It's a slice of life <laughs> drama comedy. I know, but I'm just saying, what if, you know? If you already go with this crazy concept, we'll go to, Ger- we'll go to Germany and we'll have them finance uh, the sequel. Yeah, and we'll make it everything. We'll make it Dünn vampire, t- with, with vampire t- uh, t- terrorists. Yes, terrorists. And w- what was the third thing you wanted? You have the fish. Yeah, massive <laughs> giant mutated fish. Yes, and we'll we'll spend all our money getting. Matt Damon back in <laughs> so we can kill him Matt up. Damon we'll spend his role. We'll, we'll spend 90% of our budget getting Matt Damon in uh-huh. so he can get eaten by a fish in the first scene yeah and then we'll have you know a little bit of spiel on what what we can do after that <laughs> with our 10% 10% of the budget like. uh i wrote down broken man in a bottle oh the music was really bad so random it was like they were constantly playing these orchestral tracks yeah over every scene where yeah. it was like unnecessary. Oh yeah. Also that uh, what's his name and the comedy guy was there for like three minutes. Jason Sudeikis. J- Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. <laughs> they, all these random he, people. He totally sedate us with his his performance. No, he was all right. He was all right. He, he was all right. He, but he had he was a funny thing going, but then they also ditched him. Yeah, he would have been perfect as the like the bouncing off part of 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 matt damon like he gets him into first some shit introduces him to christoph waltz's character they get into more shit starting to uh, yeah. uh, 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 smuggle drugs in and out of uh, the place or something you know then they have like a big heist at the end or something get the chinese woman in there as like the the one vietnamese the, the Viet- sorry the vietnamese la- oh that was super racist of me i'm sorry i'm really sorry um no she uh, detaches her leg that's why she can fit into something that is actually you know covered smaller yeah, yeah. smaller than an actually human sized right. thing goes with the theme yeah of, exactly yeah, yeah. even more downsizing you know and that would have been cool you know yeah so many more cool yeah, ideas so that many, they didn't so go with cool that's things. i think this is more more than more than um um unknown which was just a a, a good spy thriller Until suspense thing at the beginning yeah. yeah at the beginning this actually is something r- truly unique yes yeah that's true. truly unique and they play with the idea but they don't follow through like it's it's like an artist who juggles too many balls at the same time it's impressive at first he has like 12 balls in the air and you're like, holy shit, how is he doing it? And then he doesn't stick the landing and all the balls fall into his yeah, face. Yeah, for sure. They that were, would have been cool. Like the, like there's a weird sex fetish where they already show dicks. Why not have somebody with his huge nutsack just slap somebody or something that's small, you know? Why? Just funny, you know, at the parties, you know, a fraternity goes wild. Somebody gets too drunk, passes out as a tiny person, and the big guy is like, huh, look, and they're teabagging. <laughs> Why? Like, it's not a porno, man. <laughs> Paul, what the? Would have been also Why great as a porno. <laughs> huh? Why? It's a fraternity, man. You just do it, bruh. Dude, you 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 can't judge. You automatically high fived me today when I I showed the number five and you automatically yeah. But I didn't. I, I I it wasn't because you were teabagging me or anything. It was. I just I high fived you because you because you extended your hand. It's there's just some things you do when somebody else at a, such a wild party. I think we should. Falls mo- asleep. I think we should move we beyond should move the teabagging. Yeah, beyond the teabagging. <clears throat> All right. So for the next one, I guess I have to check. 
IMDb because uh, it's the secret category already and and you want already want to, to kill yourself. So I looked <laughs> it up. So director Alexander Payne, by the way, boy, this was a pain Grammy, to watch. Nomi- Grammy, no, what? Oscar he, nominated he's his director. Oscar nominated director. Oscar nominated yeah. director. Fuck you, man. You could have done so much better with this. The tagline of the movie is, we are meant for something bigger. And the secret category... Big problems and small solutions. What is a better tagline? Big problems. Small so- and no, that's that's just my tagline okay. for the category for the secret oh, category because better th- we could make better c- taglines than fucking we are meant for something bigger. This is not not good. We are meant for something smaller, if anything. Better play tagline. with it, you know. Play, yeah. Don't just lift the the normal saying verbatim play with it all right i'm blanking man i'm really? blanking. <laughs> <laughs> you're feeling the pressure right I'm now i'm feeling the pressure man. i'm feeling the pressure <laughs> or like i don't know um matt damon is a small kind of guy or or small uh, minds can change the world or uh, you know play with the word small or big some s- sometimes going small can create something big I that's, don't know, that's man. Worse, like, but I would say pro- I would say less big, more small. <laughs> <laughs> For the Indian market, <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, just because I thought they were just they they had all this shit going on, and it should have been yeah. more say it should have been more straightforward, more simple. Yeah, yeah, they fucked it up, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, I fucked up the category, man. <laughs> 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 I fucked up this part of the, uh, of the no, podcast. This is, I'm sorry, man. That's fine. I mean, this, this is, this is, again, such a brilliant idea and so many ideas introduced and none of them really, truly fall through, except for the tooth, which I really liked that they did That's the true. whole you, thing. You were screaming about that, like, yeah. for the first, until they revealed it, you were like, yeah. oh my God, what happens if you have like a rod implanted in your dick yeah. and then they make you smaller <laughs> yeah. and then all that's left is your dick rod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly like people w- with uh implants and stuff can't change down downsize because it's only biological matter alive biological matter they make a very distinct very yeah. good distinction about it because they shave the hair and everything because even one single strain of hair normal hair would be huge for yeah. you complications yeah probably rip your head open or yeah <laughs> yeah and that was that was a great uh, atten- like amazing attention to detail and they 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 followed through in it with like a side note at the end and they also said like one in 225 thousand people would die during this procedure that's true they never followed up on that yeah in any way yeah never sh- like although i mean with the vietnamese i guess she was the only one who no she was the only one who survived the, in the box in the from, box yeah. like they that one was also cool like human trafficking is of all of a, all of a sudden really easy because you just have a FedEx box yeah. poke some holes in it and have what 41 p- people in there or something yeah, and like they, that I mean they even had like the government experimenting on their prisoners which yeah. was the reason for the Vietnamese uh, love interest yeah and um, or they just if they have unwanted people they just shrink them down they just shrink them down yeah because then minorities or something yeah yeah. (laughs) also they said something about uh, in the news about the the Islam terrorists uh, tiny terrorists and I'm like this would be so fun they could have totally played with that idea of (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so, yeah they were the the that was one of the funniest parts when yeah. they had the news uh, anchor and like oh the intelligence is worried that terrorists could <laughs> Go shrink down, down and it. show up and but it's like they're this big what are they supposed to do <laughs> again mm-hmm. they couldn't carry a nuke or anything or any, not even a normal sized bullet like they can't shoot a gun <laughs> shooting a gun would kill them or severely injure them yeah <laughs> So that was yeah, that was pretty. That was funny. hilarious. Yeah. There, there were some really funny bits. Yeah, in there. I think. Uh, I mean, the movie was it was very sad because it it just should have been so much more, and mm. you know, it should have been followed through on his the small ideas and just stuck with those, you know. 
not make it about the human like th this whole oh we are all doomed and this is our only solution and wake up sheeple uh, thing I mean, at the end was was really tacked on I felt if you have a movie where the world is ending mm -hmm. and then in the next scene it's not really ending it's gonna take a couple of hundred years <laughs> fuck your then, movie by the way and then the scene after that it's like but it doesn't really matter that it's ending because we have these super awesome underground bunkers which yeah. are actually better than living yeah you know so, out in the open so it's like that's yeah that whole subplot was nonsense actually <laughs> also yeah ah, also matt damon's i like he's like it it doesn't like i'm i'm so i'm so beaten up by life uh, i have to go into bunk into the bunker otherwise my life wouldn't amount to anything and then it, but that that was not even the point like his car that wasn't even the point of his character i thought no no and that then, was just tacked on yeah like My we God. all have to to at least change our life in small ways to make a bigger difference and <laughs> yeah it really it tried so to put us to it sleep so at silly. the end it really and was <laughs> except for christoph waltz who did a freeze frame uh thing yeah but that was like that it, was hilarious that was like one and a half hours in no and no, there no. were 45 minutes left oh yeah maybe yeah maybe there were 45 minutes left and he spent the rest of the movie just standing in the background <laughs> I'm sure this guy made like a million dollars uh -huh. just oh, to stand in the background yeah, for yeah. like the second half of the movie. Yeah, like and and he he predicted even his outcome of oh he will be back. He's a loser. He doesn't follow through on anything, and then he doesn't follow through on anything. This movie, <laughs> Christoph Waltz didn't give a fuck about being in this movie. He didn't. Oh, uh, he didn't. It makes his character though the most enjoyable. Yeah, I month. think so. I yeah. think so. It's it's also pretty cool seeing the vampire elder uh, <laughs> standing there and uh, yeah, he, you know. But uh, even I mean, even he ended up just being a prop at the end. But I guess. His fee, I'm sure, was significantly less than, than Christoph Chris Waltz. Waltz. Oh, yeah, definitely. You, know, so. you mean the one weird German dude or a twice <laughs> winning Academy Award winner? <laughs> or three times now? I don't know. Twice at least. I, I'm not Django sure. Django Unchained and uh, the Glorious Bastards. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That yeah. one, yeah. Both of them he got an Oscar for. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Final conclusion. <laughs> I wish it had been better. I wish that you would uh, show me some nice movies because I'm starting dude, to feel. Dude, it I'm wasn't on purpose. I'm really sorry. Uh, yeah, it's but we're dealing with emotions here. <laughs> I can't control my emotions, and I'm starting to feel a lot of rage for you. Dude, you should just, have just downsize I'm, your emotions. You know, I'm I'm gonna try. Trust me, there'll be a lot of meditation <laughs> sessions that'll be going on between now and the next time. Oh, we meet. So. Also, uh, just as a little tidbit, the test read at the beginning that they didn't show it was logical later on because he didn't shave it. The what? The test rat that he used ah, to yeah. shrink it down first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was so happy. What he really saw was a bushel of dead rat that had mostly shit in it. Because one of the things they do is do an enema yeah. and clean all out the shit because that's not a life matter anymore. That was great. That's true, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I think you're reading into it a bit too much. I want right? to yeah. see the extra scene where he like presents the dead rat, <laughs> which is just a ball of hair. I think one thing I one middle. thing I wrote down was uh, yeah. I thought at the beginning um, it was a bit uh, like he was so surprised that his he was so bored yeah. and he was just like kind of like he just puts the rat into the microwave and then he's like so surprised that his experiment worked and yeah. it's like. Well, usually you've tried it already a hundred times. Yes. And then the hundredth time it works is when you tell your boss that it's like yeah. worked. So I don't understand why he's so like, he's so relaxed and he's so bored and he's yeah. just about to fall asleep. <laughs> and then he's so surprised that his experiment went, worked yeah. as if it worked for like the first time or something. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Also, also <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest. The real villain as we long fought was Christoph Waltz, but the real villain is Kristen Wiig's character because she fucks him a, out of a lot of stuff. Like he had a planned retirement plan with her and the, and the divorce ate up so much money 
that he like they, he had like a crazy villa with all the amenities and never to like retire and never work again and then he gets fucked over like she is the true villain here for being a coward i think she is but i think also there was no true villain in this movie yeah. because this movie just we are the true villain because yeah. we put ourselves in this situation in the first place yeah. but not taking proper care of this planet that's again true. that's this is the full fucking message well it's well it is until they abandon it <laughs> yeah like they abandon uh, every I, other I, I, anyways I, this movie man it's <laughs> it's sad it's again watch the first hour hour and ten if watch until they bang and then stop watching. Yes, that's and not because there's no, there's no like hot sex scene. They I could mean, have totally done a hot sex. It was scene just a R-rated. kissing, and then it was implied. But the point is, that's the best point to I, end. I, the movie. Again, I think that's for the Asian market. I think they're all. They were also trying no, to break barriers this is, there. This is you, like they, they yeah. insisted on every montage of people they had. They always had like they had super mixed, diverse. They had, they had diverse. They had mixed race couples. Yeah. In Norway, there was this, this random Sikh, one guy, one yeah. Sikh, which is, by the way, really unrealistic because no Sikh travels alone. Yeah, all Sikhs travel, all Sikhs travel with their whole entourage, which is their wife, their six kids, uh-huh. each grandparent from each side. It's some Sikh shit, right there. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so th- that was that was very, very inaccurate. Yeah. Very inaccurate. They should have had a better Indian. Indian uh, representation uh, consul- consultant when you when set. you have an Indian on on uh, you know you can't just put one of them and be like okay that's it sorry it has to be the whole family I want, I want to hear his story three now. generations I want to hear his story now like how did he got here got the like did he downsize to flee his country <laughs> or like is he, is he he he's he's a remnant of the Mandela effect <laughs> He's from a alternate reality where Sikhs uh, apparently don't have families, which <laughs> where India is like anti-India. So that's how he ended up being there. Exactly. Yeah. So downsize the movie. Watch the first hour and a half. Stop the movie afterwards. You you're not missing anything. Downsize the movie, if you will. Yeah, I, I just said that. Oh, you did. Yeah, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> My bad. I thought I was like, hi. Oh, you're downsizing your jokes right now by just using man. We'll just go into a into a flux of downsizing until all our jokes just become one. Yes. One. Yeah. Yeah. One generic, bullshitty end to this mess. All right. Uh. Yeah. This has been it, man. Yeah. Thanks you. Thanks for coming. Do you? Yeah. You have some. Internet I've, presence okay, now. Okay, so I I recently got into the crypto world. Yes, it was a gigantic. That's what failure. the weird bit at the beginning was for all the people who are not into crypto, which is still a lot of <laughs> oh, people. Right, yeah. Like <laughs> the reference will work with probably two of my <laughs> listeners, <laughs> and one of them is you. <laughs> we have to we have to spread the message though. We have to spread the message. Yeah, that's <laughs> important. So, anyways, I got into crypto recently. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't recommend. I'm not gonna say that you shouldn't get into crypto, but I will say that. Uh, you shouldn't get into crypto the way I got into crypto. Yeah, but immediately fucking up. Exactly. Going in when it's at the highest and expecting to make a fortune. And now, you, you know, and seeing your money dip right down to about an insignificant amount, which I mean, which you're, you're, maybe you're, the amount of money really downsized for you. You know, it, it did. I think it was like a. It was like a foreshadowing of the of the thing, <laughs> but one good thing one good thing that came of it was that I I opened a Twitter account. Yes, and so I started people. to I started to tweet out to people because I was trying to sick memes. I was trying to <laughs> sick memes because I was trying to <laughs> artificially inflate the value of my cryptos, <laughs> which also was a big failure. <laughs> It was a giant waste of time, <laughs> but at least uh, you know you've got a nice timeline of like random gifts and <laughs> facts about certain crypto creators. <laughs> the, the, the total destruction of a man you can follow on your Twitter. Exactly, account. you can do that. So you can follow the whole yeah. the, the whole adventure, mm-hmm. uh, and I think you'll probably put it on the bottom. It's Ali Hasnan three K. Okay. Is yes. My oh yes, yes, of course. But anyways, yeah. it'll be written here or here or here. Yeah. Somewhere. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever on whatever device you're watching, it's exactly. somewhere. Yeah. All right, um, yeah. Follow our stuff, of course. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. FFP. We're on YouTube. We we're on all the other the cool, freest cool stuff. The freest of all podcasts. So free that it's called free free podcast. <laughs> <is the way. laughs>
<laughs> twice. Two freedoms. Yeah, yeah that's twice yeah, as much yeah, freedom. Modern America, more than America. We've America. got we're, we're, Two we're freer than America. Twice as free yeah. as the as the party. Exactly. Exactly. As the party in in uh, government right now. <laughs> twice as free as them. Yeah. <laughs> And shorter too. And shorter. <laughs> All right, this was a very specific Austria joke. <laughs> um, guys, thank you for listening in and hopefully see you the next time. Bye.